Hey guys, welcome to the PC Tips Pro. And in today's video, we are going to see all about this Google Sites pages. So have to add a page, have to move a page and have to delete a page and all. So before getting into the video, if you guys haven't yet subscribed to the PC Tips Pro, please do subscribe. And now let's get into the video. So here we are on the sites.google.com. So to create a page, to create a site, firstly we need to go and click on a blank site or else we can even just uh, choose a template for us. And once you click on this, so it will be open something like this. And now let's say that you want to create a page. Click on this plus icon and now you can find something like a new page. Click on the new page and you can give the name to your new page. Let's say that it is something like a contact page. Let's say. So you can give it to be a contact page and here you can find this and now let's say that you want to move this page to above or below. So one thing you can do is you can just uh, click on this and drag it below or above to change this um, to change this order of your uh, page and then uh, there is an option for you uh, to uh, to add sub pages to the existing page. So you can just do that. Um, here in this sidebar you can see the order so if you want to change the order of this page you can change it in this way and uh, simultaneously this order will also be changed and once you create a page you can just scroll down and you can add as many as things you can do like you can give some uh, header type and all you can add many things from the insert box like here you have the images that you can insert text you can embed some html code you can uh, give some files from the drive also and here you have few layouts that you can use and uh, here there are many more things like a button a uh, image carousel or the spacer social links the placeholder youtube and many other google things like the docs slides sheets forms and charts so now let's say that you want to create a sub page to your pages for that you can do one thing click on this and click add a sub page and you can give it to be uh, something like Hyderabad contact and click on done. So in this way you can create a sub page in the page and you can even do one thing like let's say that you want your uh, team. Uh, you want your untitled page in as a part of your history so you can just drag and drop it on this so that it will be it will be taken as a, a sub page for the history so that that one you can do and let's say that you want to copy or you want to duplicate a page uh, it's something like you want to you want a similar page and you want to just make few changes so whenever you want to duplicate a page click on this three dots click on the duplicate page and uh, here you can give any name to your duplicate page it is by default given copy of team as a duplicate page but you can give it to be any name and click on done so here you get another page which is similar to that of your team page so you can see it over here and you can edit it as you want and uh, at last uh, if you want to delete a page from uh, your existing pages, you just need to go to those three dots and click on the delete and click yes and this will be deleting your nested pages also like if you choose the option of uh, if we just click on the delete if there are no nested pages it will be deleted by uh, like that and if there are nested pages it will be asking us if you want to delete the nested pages also and click on delete so in this way you can add your pages you can remove your pages you can uh, change your pages order and you can create sub pages or you can even drag and drop uh, one page as a sub page to another page so this is all you can do and also you can uh, you can hide a particular page from the navigation by going to this three dots clicking on hide from navigation so that it will not be occurring on your uh, uh, menu over here but it is still existing but it won't appear 
once you open the menu and you can even show it in the navigation by just going to the three dots again and changing the settings this is all for this video guys i hope you found this video useful to you and don't forget to like share and subscribe to pc tips pro thank you for watching guys